When your 48 connects to other appliances, it should use the strongest ciphers available. How do you do it? Coming up. The coming video is split it into two. The first part, let's make sure that our 40 gate uses the strongest ciphers. The second part, in case that your 40 gate connects with host that doesn't support the highest encryption algorithms, how do you make sure that your 40 gate doesn't support out of date HMAX and out of date encryption? mode operations such as code block chaining, CBC, and more. All right, so to make sure that your FortiGate supports the highest ciphers, you will use the CLI, config system global, set strong crypto, and now you will just make sure that it is enabled. Now, this setting will make sure that your FortiGate always uses the highest encryption algorithms when used with other appliances over SSL, SSH, and TLS. Now, if it can't use the highest encryption algorithms and the setting is disabled, you still can disable out-of-date HMAX that is hash message authentication code and out-of-date encryption mode of operation that is the way that your algorithm actually aggregates different blocks that it encrypts so let's do it config system global and now set ssh hmac MD5 to disable. And now the second thing is to set the SSH CBC cipher also to disable. Now a few words. The HMAC is actually a digest function, a hash function that digests the payload itself so that every packet has its own hash value. The CBC, the code block chain, is the way that the symmetric encryption algorithm encrypts the data. Now, the data is being encrypted in either 64 bits, 120 bits, and then it is being aggregated. So, a CBC is an old mode of operation. The newest ones, such as ECB and other, are used with uh, advanced algorithms such as AES and more. 